Welcome to the music program at Lawson Middle School. As you begin thinking about instrument selection, I wanted to create a presentation to help you choose. During this presentation, I'll address some important factors about instrument selection, good and bad reasons for choosing an instrument, and perhaps some preconceived notions you might have. We know that picking an instrument is an exciting but huge decision and want to be able to guide you in the process. Here are some examples of good factors to consider while picking an instrument. Prior experience is a great thing to have. You can continue on an instrument you already play and we can help you get better at that instrument or help you fix some mistaken habits you might have. Or your experience on that instrument could open the door to other instruments in the band or orchestra, which will be covered later in this presentation. If you have piano experience, that will help you with any instrument you pick. Parent expectations are another factor. Some of your parents might have an opinion about what instrument you should play. However, what you want to play is the most important factor. You are the one that has to put the time and effort into learning an instrument and practicing. If your parents are pushing you to pick an instrument that you are not excited about, please voice your opinion. In the end, you are the one that has to practice. We know that money also plays a role. However, we want to alleviate that concern as much as possible. Some instruments are provided by the school. There are going to be some instruments that require a bit more of a financial commitment in the short term, but there's long-term benefit, and we want you to be aware of all of these factors. If you have a financial limit or concerns, please let us know and we can help. Please don't make a decision solely based on money. We can discuss this at the instrument interview. Your interest is the most important part. We want you to be excited to be a part of the music program at Lawson, whether you are picking band or orchestra. We want you to want to play your instrument. If you are excited, you will want to practice and get better. There are also some bad reasons for making a decision. For example, location in the room. The teachers are constantly roaming the room and switching the seating of students. Although in band, the flutes and oboes traditionally sit in the front, or in orchestra, the basses are in the back, that does not mean that certain instrument sections are going to get more or less attention. Choose an instrument based on what you are excited about, not what you think the teacher is going to pay attention to. The length of the instrument or its case should also not be a factor either. The music building is open all day, and there are lockers for you to put your instrument in. You will not be carrying it around around campus all day, and you can practice during the daytime so you are not taking it all over if you are concerned about being able to take it home every single day. If you're interested in a big instrument, don't let the size prevent you from choosing it. There are also exceptions to this. Instrument size does not always determine how light or heavy it is. Alto saxophone, for example, which is one of the smaller instruments, it's actually heavier than most of the brass instruments, which are bigger. Braces are also a factor for band. And if you're concerned about getting braces or currently have braces, please mention this at your interview. Assistance from teachers can be a factor, but please don't think that we favor certain instruments over others. We want you to be excited about your choice, and we are excited that you are in the program and are always happy to help you no matter what instrument you play. Prior experience matters, but at the same time, don't think that you have to play an instrument you've already played. If you want to try something new, you are allowed to try something new. Choosing an instrument is a big decision, and you are choosing for many years to come, hopefully. However, this choice is an even bigger impact on the group. Lawson is famous for having a balanced ensemble, and it is very important to us. We want you to start with the best sound possible, and sounding like a real band helps us to do that. By having the right instruments, we can pick and play better music, and we get to hear what it's like to play in a real band with double reeds and low brass. We don't only want to have a band full of flutes, trumpets, and saxophones. We also have specialty instruments at Lawson. If you have prior experience, this would be a great option. Instruments like oboe, bassoon, and French horn should have students with prior experience. For flute, clarinet, and alto saxophone players, oboe or bassoon would be a great next step. For French horn, it could be a good option for flute or trumpet players. Trombone, euphonium, and tuba don't need prior experience. 
However, many students don't pick it because of either the instrument size or because they are in the back of the band. So students think that they won't get any attention. Trombone is the only instrument that can do a glissando, which is one of the most famous band sounds. Tuba and bass are the foundation of the band and orchestra, respectively. Euphonium and viola have lots of beautiful melodic lines. Not everyone needs to play flute, trumpet, saxophone, or violin. Our band or orchestra will be incredibly boring if that's all we had. If you're interested in a specialty instrument but don't have prior experience, that is also okay. For percussion, we do require five years of piano lessons. We can talk about that in your instrument interview if you are interested. The more balanced the ensemble, the better the music can be. We can play much cooler music if we had all the instruments. The school can provide a few of the instruments. Tubas and basses are always provided. Euphoniums, trombones, French horns, and cellos are provided if there is a need. Our goal for euphoniums and cellos is for there to be a school set and a personal one at home so students don't have to worry about carrying it back and forth. We have limited numbers for instruments you can rent, so please consider that when asking, and it is on a need basis. So what instruments do we need for a band and orchestra to sound awesome? Ideally for band, we'll have between 15 to 20 flutes, four to six oboes, 20 clarinets, eight to 10 alto saxophones, two to four bassoons, around 20 trumpets, 10 French horns, eight to 10 trombones, six to eight euphoniums, four to six tubas, and seven percussionists. For orchestra, we'd like about equal number for the violins and violas from 25 to 30, about 13 cellos, and eight bass players. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Ms. Feeler, who teaches intermediate and advanced ensemble, and Ms. Sang, myself, and I teach all the beginning ensembles here at Lawson. We look forward to meeting you, so please sign up for an instrument interview time.